Ang susunod naman ay ang law of acceleration. The second law of motion is the law of acceleration which states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the net force acting on it and it's inverse, inversely proportional to the object's mass. The direction of the acceleration is in the direction of the net force acting on the object. Ang ating pangalawang law of motion ay ang law of acceleration. Sinasabi na ang acceleration ng object ay directly proportional sa kanyang force. Ibig sabihin, kapag ang force ay mataas, mataas din ang acceleration. Kapag bumaba ang force, bababa din ang kanyang acceleration. At kapag inversely proportional naman ang object sa kanyang mass, ibig sabihin nito, kapag mataas ang mass, ay bababa ang acceleration. Kapag naman bumaba ang mass, tataas ang kanyang acceleration. Sa direction ng acceleration, may kita natin kung saan mayroong force na nilagay doon sa object. Example, when you jump off a diving board, you fall into the water. Kapag tumalong ka mula sa isang diving board, ay nauhulog ka sa tubig. Kapag tumalong ka mula sa isang diving board, ay nahulog ka sa tubig. The force of gravity or weight In one of Galileo's experiments, objects dropped near the surface of the earth would fall with the same acceleration if air resistance is neglected. This acceleration is denoted by acceleration due to gravity with an, ap an approximate value of 9.8 meter per second squared or 980 centimeter per second squared or 32 feet per second squared. The force that causes this acceleration is called the force of gravity or gravitational force. The force acts vertically downward toward the center of the earth the gravitational force of an object which is the force of gravity can be expressed as force of gravity is equals to the mass acceleration due to gravity isa sa eksperimento ni Galileo ang mga bagay na nahulog malapit sa ibabaw ng lupa ay mauhulog na may parehong pagbilis. Kung ang pagpigil ay napapabayaan, ang acceleration ay may gravity na may value na 9.8 meter per second squared or 980 centimeter per second squared or 32 feet per second squared. Ang pwersa sanhi ng pagbilis na ito ay tinatawag natin na force of gravity or gravitational force. Ang, kumi, ang kwersa ay kumikilos ng patayo pababa patungo sa gitna ng mundo. Ang kwersang gravitational force ay isang bagay na maaaring ipahayag bilang force of gravity is equal to mass acceleration due to gravity. Letter F and small letter G is gravitational force and letter M for mass and G is for acceleration due to gravity. The direction of this force is always down toward the center of the earth. The magnitude of the force of gravity on an object is M and G is called the object's weight symbolized by the letter capital W. When a person's mass is 40 kg, the computed weight is 392 newton. Multiply the mass 
2 grams is equal to 9.8 meter per second squared on Earth. His weight differs when he is on other planets and satellites like the moon. Kung saan ang F at, uh, F at letter G ay gravitational force at ang M ay mass at ang G ay acceleration due to gravity. Ang direction ng pwersang ito ay laging pababa at patungo sa gitna ng mundo. Ang lakas ng force of gravity sa isang bagay ay tinatawag na bigat or weight na sinasagisag ng titik W. Kapag ang mass ng isang tao ay 40 kg, ay kinakalkulang timbang ay 392 N. Paano ito nakuha? Ito ay minultiply sa 9.8 meter per second squared sa lupa. Kanyang timbang ay magkakaiba kapag nasa ibang mga planeta at satellite siya tulad ng sa buwan. Newton's second law of motion is expressed through the equation of force is equal to mass acceleration. Recall from the module 1 that the symbol sigma stands for the algebraic sum. Force stands for the net force acting on the object. M for mass of the object and A for its acceleration. The arrow above the letters F and A indicates that both have magnitude and direction. Ang Newton's second law of motion ay ipinahayag sa pamagitan ng equation na force is equal to mass acceleration. Lalahanin natin mula sa module 1 na ang simbolo ng sigma ay tumutukoy sa algebraic sum. Ang force ay tumutukoy sa net force na nasa ibang bagay. Ang titik letter M ay mass ng isang object at ang titik A ay sa acceleration. Ang arrow sa mga titik tulad ng F at A ay tumutukoy sa parehong magnitude at direction. Table 1 shows the different units of mass, acceleration, and force involved in the second law of motion. The system, mass, acceleration. Meter, kilogram, seconds. Centimeter, gram, seconds. Feet, pound, seconds. Mass, kilogram, gram, and slugs. In acceleration, meter per second squared centimeter per second squared feet per second squared force newton is equal to kilogram meter per second squared dyne is equal to gram centimeter per second squared pounds is equal to slug per feet uh, slug feet per second squared Itong table na ito ay nagpapakita ng iba't ibang unit ng mass acceleration at force na nakalpaloob sa second law of motion.